Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I admire those people who can do the videos while driving. You saw my video yesterday. That's five lanes of traffic. That's our streets here. It would be too dangerous, but I would love it if I could like, just like be driving around casually talking like you were in the car. No, it's bad enough in parking lots here. <laughs> okay, we have New Year's. We have the Chinese New Year's. Oh, the Chinese New Year's used to be good in the casinos before the year of the weird. And we have the Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl is kind of late this year. It's an exciting Super Bowl this year. Um, I will. Pro I want to work today because I think it's a good day to shop. Um, and I'll just pull it up on my phone and watch it. Not while driving. No, that would be dangerous. So, um... I wanted to mention something, you know, I did a um, video yesterday on sleeping in your car. That location is like, there's a Walmart across the street. It's like one block from the Walmart. So uh, what I used to do is I used to sell at the swap meet. I still do, but because of the Corona, I really can't. I could, but it's not worth it to me because, you know, my son's got the baby and I don't want to give the baby the, or my daughter-in-law. But anyway, um, it's one block from the Walmart. So I would just cease eating at 10 p.m. And, and then, you know, I would go to the swap meet at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. And I could usually easily go until six o'clock without having to go to the restroom so if i did i could drive to the walmart um there's places along here you know um that you can uh park another thing one could do because i was thinking about places if you got in line at 2 a.m on saturday and sunday you could sleep in your car until 6 a.m because out here there's massive lines to get into the swap meet. And, and then, you know, there's two nights taken care of, legitimate places to park. You're supposed to be selling, but there's nothing to stop you from getting out of line and driving out. So that would be two. And then another thing at swap meets, they have restrooms. Uh, I saw a guy and he was paying $10 for a shower. If you can get a gallon bucket, you can take, uh, you can pretty much take a bath in one of the stalls easily, you know, with the wide mouth. Uh, I, I did videos on that, you guys. And I washed my lawn. Admittedly, I don't have very thick hair. Okay, and then one of the best um, lunches, car lunches I found are those $5.50 Walmart I got a ham it's like a sub sandwich 548 also there's good um, trustworthy um, sub places but out here a sub is ten dollars so Walmart it's like half price everything is like ten dollars and I have showed you videos after videos of the food I buy for ten dollars so um, yesterday I tried to shop and I'll show you what I bought now this, this is really nice. This is the only thing I bought. This is a uh, $24.95 uh, book on sauces. It's got everything. It's got sauce for coleslaw, tomato soup, guacamole, salsa, but good stuff. So I got this for $1.75 because I got my senior discount. Oh, let's see. I'll try to find one good video, uh, one good recipe and give it to you guys right now. So when I shop in uh, thrift stores, what I shop for is high dollar items, but cheap. Now, where is that? Let me find a good one. I mean, one recipe is well worth uh, $1.75, but this one's got like almost 100 recipes. Oh, look, here's the tomato soup recipe. Let me see. So I'm going to give it to you guys. Um, I did video after video, uh, corn chowder, or pea soup. So when I saw this, I thought that's well worth the book right there. Okay, and then I want to show you something. 
This is a handmade purse. This is nothing but cute, but I use it like for jewelry. And, and look how adorable. It's a cigar box. It says, uh, Angela Levitt Originals. So, um, I sell antiques, collectibles, jewelries, but this is a handmade item. And I would sell this for $27.95. Not selling it, but if I did sell it, so this and I'm not purging this. Okay, now I'm, I'm getting into the minimalizing, minimizing, and uh, a living room with a couch. I have three couches, although I'm getting to the one of my couches in front of the uh, fireplace. Uh, I found um, a setup that's going to work for me in the feng shui book, so that was awesome, but. You know, I, I don't see, for me, I don't see that. I don't see that as living because, you know, I want, I want to be reasonable. That works for some people. There is no stress. It's easy. Um, I know uh, another thing is small areas. I don't care for those. I like a big area, but those cost money out here in California. Okay, so now what I want to talk about is 2021. Okay, we had 2020. Some of us navigated through it okay. And so we want to do the same thing for uh, 2021. So I came up with some stuff, you know, to think about, to get through it. Okay, the one thing I always hammer away is stockpile food. Uh, this year, because I had stockpiled so much food, I, I donated a lot of food. And I figure I got some blessings of some sort. My son's always going, Mom, Mom, what are these blessings? Well, it's not all the good stuff, but it's also all the bad stuff that never happens. And also some family who had the food. So, okay, here's some of the things. What we're doing is we're preparing for a recession or a depression. Uh, they don't proclaim a depression until it's been a, uh, a dip or they're calling it something else now. Uh, anyway, for three years and we're in year two now. One, pay off the debt. Now I'm not taking every last cent I have and paying off my debt. I'm just not getting more debt and you know, I'm paying it down, you know, reasonably. I think little by little and reasonable and almost everything is going to get you through life so much easier the the minimizing is a freaking mess you guys in my case uh i did i did restore um order to my living room where i had all the stuff but i have to put the clothes back upstairs and i also have a bunch of kitchen utensils and stuff like that Okay, number two, hoard small cash, small bills of cash. If something happens, they don't want to make change. Uh, what, you want to go and say, give me $20 worth of gas, here's a gold coin? No, you have to have some small bills of change in case of an emergency. Also, you know, if they tighten up the credit, those, the small amount of cash is going to help you more than anything. Uh, a long time ago during the depression and I was married to my husband at the time, my one and only husband, one was enough. But I'm not complaining because the baby looks just like my ex-husband and it's an adorable baby. And the baby looks just like my son and the baby is like my son. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, so my husband came home and I said, Mike, um, I bought something today and he said, well, what'd you buy? He said, I bought a house. And back then nobody had credit, nobody had cash. And so I had $3,500 cash and I was able to secure this house. Admittedly, I was extremely lucky, of course. And so I was able to get this house because I had $3,500 worth of cash. So don't ever forget that story. A small amount of cash can really help you. Um, okay, part-time jobs. Try to get as many as you can handle. Um, 
I, I usually worked about two and three jobs. And if one went down south, uh, then I had another one. So I wanted to mention something. Okay. One of the swap or one of the um, thrift stores I go to, you know, I was able to buy this lovely blouse for a dollar. It's a pretty nice blouse, actually. And so I am easy on my clothes. What I do is I just wash them in cold water with some dollar like woolite detergent and I hang them up. My, cla my clothes last forever. And I, I would probably sell this blouse when I sell it at the swap meet for a dollar, 50 cents a quarter. You know, I would get most of my money back. Also, you know, uh, all kinds of, this is really pretty. This is from Vietnam and right up the street here, I worked for this woman and uh, she was one of the better Buddhists. You know, some people are really, really Buddhists. See how beautiful it is? It's made out of shells from Vietnam. And uh, they did like um, ministry type stuff to the monasteries. And I was working for them and they brought me back this. I have a lot of beautiful stuff I got from Vietnam. Uh, they gave this to me and I really love it and I still wear it and I've had it many, many years. That's not for sale, but you know, I have my, um, sometimes I bought this at, at um, Macy's and this is really pretty. And it was $30 and I wanted to buy it and I thought I don't want to pay $30 and I waited down until they slashed it to like less than $5. And when I'm done with it, I can sell it for $3. And then I sell, you know, various bracelets. In the meantime, I wear them. And then these uh, sunglasses I bought at a thrift store and I sell them. I'm not donating all this crap I have. I'm just containing it for now until I can sell it. My minimizing comes by selling. So then, so, you know, any part-time jobs, uh, I'm going to get into this in a minute, acquiring skills that are going to help you get uh, part-time jobs. Okay, slash spending. Okay, that's why I'm doing the car thing. Um, also out here at the trolley, you can uh, park it in the trolley parking lot. Um, you know, where people would normally catch the uh, bus to the, the uh, casino. And also Walgreens is open 24 hours a day. So you can park in there. Uh, this area would be really bad because there's a lot of homeless. But worse comes to worse, you know, in these areas. There's one in San Carlos that's a lot nicer. And you would just park where the um, employees park. I mean, it's not... Also, you know, um, I'm not saying uh, set up camp in front of someone's apartment complex, but if it's like uh, someone said, what time do you get up? I would just get up, you know, like around six o'clock and, uh, you know, run down to uh, Walmart, go to the restroom, and then I would just go into my back seat and finish sleeping. You know, I would just be reasonable. If I slept until seven, hey, that's fine too. If they told me to, uh, if if like the police came, I would say, listen, I was displaced and I just needed to um, find a place to sleep, but I won't do it again, I'm sorry. And chances are they were going, oh, you poor lady. <laughs> okay, so, but when I used to live in the bad neighborhood, this is one reason I'm so glad it was like skid row in front of the apartments and to the side and in the apartments. <laughs> okay. Investigate cheaper ways to in exist. So that's what I've been doing. And let me tell you, I have spent almost no money. Do you need me to move? Do you need me to move? Okay. Okay. A guy is doing landscape. Okay, invex investigate cheaper ways to live. So since I've been in my car from the time I get up until it's dark for about a month and a half, I have spent very, very little money. This is very, very cheap. I like it because I was cooped up in a salon from the time I was 16 until I was 62. And towards the end of my career, 
I don't know that my career is over. Once a stylist, always a stylist. But for now, my son doesn't want me to do it anymore. He wants me to retire. Uh, everyone is dying. I'm the last one standing. We'll see about that. Okay, so I'm investigating cheaper ways to exist. That is going to help a lot. You know, if you have like under your belt, uh, the lemon chicken I made last night was really, really good. Uh, and really, really cheap. So, you know, all you need is food, water, and a clean, dry place to sleep. Uh, also, at this time, it would be better to find cheap housing. Okay, where I'm living, I, I just happen to be like, a lot of people used to say I was lucky, and it really used to aggravate me because, you know, I also worked hard. But actually, uh, an example of my luck is where I'm living now. So, you know, yeah, okay, I was lucky. I'm not leaving. Unless, you know, he sells or something, then I'm leaving. Okay, now, possible dollar collapse. So, it's possible that the dollar, you know, might take the plunge, you know, worldwide. But until it does, you know, I'm just going to go on. Uh, I'm just going to go on the way I... Uh, Am. Okay, so now, last year they told us we were going to have a K-shaped recovery. We did. Think about a K. Okay, you have your line. See, this is a number line at a certain dollar amount. One side went up, one side went down. The rich got richer and the poor got poorer. That's exactly what happened. That's what the expert said was going to happen and that's what uh, is going to happen. Now, this year they are predicting and i could see this a double dip recession so we would have sh a short-lived recovery maybe after all these vaccinations and stuff and then uh we would have another recession so you know last year things got a little better when we could open up again but then they closed up again so now we're having and we had like a recessionary type period and I would say the um, the short-lived recovery would be when people got their tax returns and when people got this stimulus. So, but we have to see possible possible recovery. Okay, uh, so here's what we're we're looking for: jobless, illness, car accidents, and pandemic. Those things are gonna, you know, cause trouble. Okay, another thing is in preparation for this recessionary, uh, you know, recession. I think the recession will last 10 years this time. Uh, so we want to do maintenance. Like, um, I'm trying to look around at my car. Like, I got a loose screw. I lost a screw on my bumper. I need an oil change, that kind of stuff. So I'm doing all the repairs I can. And in, in where I live... I'm, you know, fixing that up so as to, um, you know, exist as cheap as I can and to keep the place nice. Okay. Cheap colleges. I sent my son to cheap. I sent my son to, uh, it's called something else now, but it used to be called junior college. And then San Diego State College where my husband's GI Bill paid. So that was cheap. Protect assets. So now... Okay, let's say I go, well, you know, I'm minimizing and I get rid of all my, these are like $1. My shirt is like a quarter. My necklace is, you know. So, you know, throw them in a box and figure out. A lot of people don't want to deal with it and they put their stuff in storage. But I hate overhead. When I was working as a stylist, I prevailed because I had no overhead. When things were bad, I would just do haircuts that didn't cost me anything on eBay, I do the auction. I have 200 posts per month. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm forcing myself to learn that when I sell something, I post something, it sells. I don't want it sitting there taking up space. I want my store to move and I'm, I'm learning that and it's coming along rather nicely. Uh, another good trick is don't buy anything if you're new, if yours works, like, okay, I 
love a new car myself, but you know, I'm being, I know a recession, a recession is coming. So I'm being careful. Do not do any major upgrades or expenses. Not now. Wait until 2022 and see how it goes. Prepare for inflation. Okay, when the consumption is down, the price goes up. So if people don't have that much money, if it's a recession, we can expect the price to go up. That's to be expected. So deflation is bad too because there's just no capacity to pay and the price would plunge. That'd be bad too. They're trying to prevent that. Another thing, you know, this car living is not stupid. What's going to happen is these um, these rent rent moratoriums and all these unemployments are going to um, give out. And what's going to happen is people are going to find themselves on social services. Now, if you have a car and if you like live in a liberal place like this, where you can get the food stamps, the food pantries, you can survive until you try to find a job. Uh, also at the swap meet, if you have a car, if you go there, you can get in. If you go there late, you can get in free. And then if people leave stuff, you can secure. I saw a lady buying, getting her children's school clothes like that, you know, with the stuff people left and you can take a bath. Okay, we should expect increased taxation. This is the only way the government gets money. They're not working nine to five being paid. No, they're taxing you, they're taxing me. So when we, and anybody making uh, $50,000 and up, if should expect 5% and you'd be lucky the more money uh, you have. Okay, uh, we should expect tightened credit. Uh, in some of the recessions, I was the only one that even had a bank account in the salons I worked at. I used to cash my, my um, co-workers' paychecks for them. Now, I woun't do that these days because I didn't realize at the time I was guaranteeing the check. I just found that out. I work for these people and, you know, I would become so enraged at the bank and I didn't realize that, you know, what I would do is I would deposit money into my son's account. And so, you know, that would cause him to guarantee the pay. So, you know, I can see why they didn't. And also I had a hard time with like depositing those checks. Don't forget that. Depositing these checks in the kiosk. Just cash your checks in cash and then put them in the bank also you know if you take one of these checks to the bank they're like loan sharks they want to charge you to cash a check issued from their own banks and this will get worse so tighten cash and people will have a tighten credit so it's harder to get credit and less cash this is why i'm not a big fan of ridding yourself of all your cards no I don't think that's a good idea. Increase skills. Now this is gonna help you more than anything else. You know, when I was working those two and three jobs with each shop, I was like your ex-wife, I knew everything. I was increasing my skills. So what I'm doing is I'm learning cooking. Uh, that's coming very slow, but eventually it's if you keep it up, it starts to snowball. Like I found out, I didn't really think about this, but anyone would know this, that your fresh chickens are going to taste better than a chicken that has been frozen. So there you go. Okay, cooking, interior and exterior design. This is one of the reasons I'm doing the minimizing so that I can redesign my dwelling. Uh, my yard, now it's been what, about a week since I did the first yard and I thought wow you know my yard looks good how can I get this guy to like maintain my car my yard um, regularly because you know I like the yard looking nice and so I came up with a diabolical plot of tipping the gardener yes okay interior next to uh, clothing I'm into clothing now 
When I was a hairstylist, I had like a one-track mind. All I thought of 24 hours a day is hair, hair, hair. Fashion, makeup. Somebody asked, um, you know, how I look so young. And it's really cracked me up. So I was watching these videos of 70 and 80 year old women doing makeup. And I saw this one and I showed you guys this. And what she did is she just put her makeup and she lathered her hands and she just rubbed it all over her face. It works, you guys. Hey, it doesn't matter. Whatever works. And another thing is I was reading my Leonardo da Vinci book and, and it was about the Mona Lisa. There's a lot of possibilities with the Mona Lisa. She could be um, the artist. She, they said she could have been, she could have been Leonardo da Vinci. She could have been a woman, and you know that he painted, but he carried this painting with him for years. She could have been a prostitute because in the day they had no hair. So she had like no eyebrows and no eyelashes, which to me is like alien. But anyway, so I toned my eyebrows way down and I think I look so much better. So, the, and then another thing is when you're older, you don't want a lot of makeup in this area because it accentuates your wrinkles. So that's some of my tricks. And I will give you some more tricks if I think of them. Okay, I'm studying retail sales because you know I'm trying to get my own little business of selling. eBay, um, food storage, a barter store, jewelry, crafts. Uh, I have actually, uh, I have actually made and sold crafts, uh, small quilts and uh, quilted. Um, I'm quilted pillows and I made them in squares that are not easily able to find like like rectangles, you know, instead of squares, a nice rectangular pillow.